Good day to everyone. Today we will see how the variable frequency drive operates to control speed of motors and compressors. VFD consists of three main parts, namely converter, filter and inverter. VFD is also called as variable speed drive or VSD. Converter is also called as rectifier and the diodes assembled in it allows current to flow in only one direction, converting AC into DC. Although a C voltage alternates on the positive and negative sides continuously, rectifier diodes allow only one-sided flow here, making positive side flow on upper path, and the negative return path at the bottom, hence a C converted to DC. Black line and the black arrow show alternating values on the red voltage sine wave between its maximum and minimum values. Algebraic sum, that is the values including plus and minus symbols of red, blue, and yellow sine wave is zero at any position on the graph here. When you consider red line phase voltage, values on the negative side of the sine wave becomes zero when flowing through the diodes. All three line voltages face this change when flowing through the converter part of VFD. After the converter, we receive upper positive parts of all three line voltages or resultant currents on it as a DC value now. But its pathway is very rough with ripples right throughout and need to be smoothened to get pure and linear direct current voltage. DC bus or filter is equipped with capacitors and these make rough and ripple voltage received after the rectifier into a smooth and linear DC voltage. When voltage is at its maximum, capacitors are fully charged and starts discharging to fill the DC gaps created between voltage ripples. On the upper stroke, capacitors are on charging process and reach its full charge again at the top where voltage is on its maximum value. Main purpose of the VFD filter capacitor is to provide this smooth and linear DC voltage and it is a must to get the next stage operation at the inverter to the perfection. In addition to the capacitors, there are reactors with inductors too in the fill tube to add extra smoothness to the DC voltage. Inverter consists of IGBT transistor switches that is insulated gate by polar transistors which transform DC voltage back to a C voltage but now is with variable option. IGBT transistors perform as on-off switches with very fast and rapid action and are connected to a controller unit inside of the inverter. These are very effective type of transistors and avoid short circuiting between positive and negative DC lines during fast acting operation. Dotted line here shows the connection line of IGBT switch to the controller unit. Instead of IGBT transistors, we will use general on-off switches to see the operation of inverter here. DC voltage is supplied to the load through the three lines in a systematic and timely manner to make it three phase again. When pair of switches circled had been closed, load receives DC voltage through red and blue lines at that instance. When the pair of switches changed here, load receives DC voltage but from blue and yellow lines now. When remaining set of switches had been closed, load gets voltage through yellow and red lines only. These switches open and close in pairs, as shown previously. Further to that the controller needs to make sure that the highlighted top and bottom pairs of switches will never close at the same time. It is to avoid short circuiting of DC main line. When compared three load lines together, pulse width modulation or PWM, depending on pulses created by IGBT switches, will produce the necessary variations to the voltage and frequency on new three-phase line. When arranged one pair of switches to operate, or pulses for number of times before going to the next pair of switches, resultant intermittent voltage supplied to the load becomes less than the original value of three-phase voltage. That is how the pulse width modulation generally works. Three phase voltage and the frequency newly generated to the load can be varied by changing the opening and closing time period of the switches and by varying the frequency of these switch opening and closing cycle at one continuous run. Since there are instances where all the switches are opened and no voltage induced at that point, voltage can only be reduced to the load here. But if increasing a voltage is needed, 
It can be arranged by introducing additional capacitors at the filter to increase DC voltage first. Selecting the motor or compressor according to the maximum speed requirement initially, and then reducing its speed using a VFD by controlling voltage and frequency, is the generally accepted practice for speed control of a motor with a VFD. Hope you got fair idea on how a VFD works now. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.